Hey guys, so welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create an event listing page with Elementor and without using a shortcode. Okay, so if you know what Elementor is, it lets us create beautiful, stunning designs for our WordPress website using drag and drop builder. Okay, so with WP Event Manager, we can uh, create uh, WP Event Manager's UI elements or like functional elements in the front end side uh, prior to the website design you are making with Elementor as well okay so this guide will work for advanced users who knows how to use elementor and for beginners as well okay so to get started we're going to create a new page all right and you're going to click on this edit elementor you can like type in your uh, page title over here right but i'm not doing that since i'm not going to really publish this as of now but uh like let's click on the button and it will load the elementor designer okay so by default, like if I open this events page, you'll see like uh, by default, our event listing page looks like this with a sidebar and the listings over here. Okay. But we can configure that as well. So how to get the event listing view or like the element uh, over here, you can search over here as event listing. And the element we need is this event listing element. Okay. Which you can drag over here or uh, what you can do, we can close this one. And you can scroll down to WP Event Manager section and you will find even listing over there as well. All right. So, uh, I mean, uh, in live preview mode, the events doesn't get loaded. Okay. But we will have a look in the front end side in a short moment. But uh, before that, let me walk you through the tags over here we can uh, provide. Okay. So, this is prior uh, to the short code attributes we discussed about in this channel. And so, what that does is uh, we can configure all that attributes using this uh, graphical interface over here. Okay, so so pagination, what it will control, it will control uh, like a pagination, uh, like UI over here or like elements that uh, way you can use uh, the pagination method of the event listing page instead of the edge exploded button. Okay, so post power page that you can configure. Okay, and like post power page will control how many posts or like events you can, uh, you can want to show in this listing page by default right so order by you can change the order by ascending or descending so order by method so we provide you all the order by method that were available in the event attribute section so featured so over here i mean when you are configuring these attributes over here you can't preview them on the listings uh, itself for that you need to publish your page and uh, have a look in the front end side right so that's the thing uh, i'm just giving you a heads up but let's go back to explanation so featured uh, that will uh, only display only the featured events in the website over here in the page okay so show cancelled it will only show uh, the cancelled event on the listing page itself show filters so this will control the filter section over here that we can actually uh, preview right here see and we can uh, like set it to true or false so it's pretty much self-explanatory category filter same thing we explained that as well in our previous videos even types filter so that will control the drop down over here as you can see it's gone now location it will filter out like pre-filter uh, like events over here by uh, location uh, keyword or like filter that we can see over here and same for the keywords so that will go over here selected date so that will control the uh, date filter over here that we can see over here see select date range okay and keywords and categories over here that will pre-filter events by those certain categories that we put over here and event types the same uh, it will pre-filter the events using uh, like types or like event types we put over here okay so if I go to setting section, we can uh, make this to Elementor Canvas. So that will hide like entire footer and uh, like header section if you want. Or you can choose like uh, Elementor full width as well, right? So that will look like this, okay? So no like uh, title section, no sidebar at all, just the uh, footer and the like site header. And now you can like put uh, anything you want over here. Let's say if you wanna put like a video over here that you can do. Let's say if you wanna add an image over here uh, to display or like feature out uh, like any promotions that's going on your know, website. You can put like text over here, like, uh, like banner and all, everything, Google map, like every elements over here is available that you can use uh, prior to the event listing uh, uh, element over here okay so in that way you will be able to create a beautiful stunning event listing website uh, with elementor that shows your need all right so when you are done you can hit this publish button so you can then take a look at your newly created event listing page on the front inside itself see it looks exactly like uh, what we configured over here and i mean i did, did remove the image from here so if we go ahead and add that again uh, you will see it's coming back over there uh, let's see basic 
image right here and if we update this page so this image uh, we can change that as well let's say if we set this to this one okay and say if we wanna uh, like add any text over here you can do that as well okay so i'm not going in depth about how to design a page but i'm showing off how to create an even listing page with elementor right and you get the idea let's update and if we reload you will see this page reloads itself and i know this is not a perfect example but uh like let's say if we wanna see a uh, full and then uh we can click on update let's see the changes yes okay like this so depending on your design you can yeah, use custom elements as well over here and you can put text as over here buttons everything you want and this is like a rough demonstration to be exact and I'm just uh, explaining it to you how you can create an event listing page with Elementor, right? So after that, imagination is the limit over here. So let us know in the comments what you come up with, what design you build with Elementor and use our event listing uh, element in this page, okay? We will be sure to check those out and we will feature them as well sometime in the channel and we will give you the credit for designs as well, okay? So until next time, I'm Shadow saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.